All right, all you Axe FX3 owners, today was Firmware Friday one more time. Axe FX3 Firmware 23.04 release came out today at 1 p.m. And the notes from it says fixed wrong negative feedback value for Brit 82203 models and fixed bright switch off by default on 5153 100 watt stealth blue models. You know, at first you think, well, well, you know, okay, that's kind of cool. And then you look at it and go, wait, what amp models? The Brit 82203? The 5153 100 watt stealth blue? Where did those come from? Well, I do believe that earlier today, 23.03 came out. <laughs> Let's take a look at this list. Improved CPU usage. Added Nobelium OVD1 drive based on a Nobles ODR1. Added Sunrise Splendor model. Added Gauss drive. Added Brit 82203 models. Renamed Brit 800 to Brit 82204 high. Added Brit 82204 low model. Added 5153 100 watt stealth amp models. Added USA MKV green amp model. Changed default values of speaker drive and speaker thump to better align with measurements of typical speakers. Added NFB compensation switch and amp block. Fixed LFO2 not working in chorus block. Fixed wrong distortion pot taper in DS1 distortion models. Fixed wrong gain pot taper in angle severe models. Fixed wrong output pad in USA JP2C plus green model. Fixed wrong default tone stack in 1959 SLP and Plexi 100 watt 1970 models. Fixed EQ graphs in some blocks not updating when resetting the channel. Fixed output configuration being overridden by copy parameter. In other words, if output 2 configuration is set to copy left to right, but copy output 1 is on, then the output would have the same configuration as output 1. In other words, stereo. And of course, various other fixes and improvements. And we also have a new version of Axe Edit 3. Axe Edit 3 1.13.10 is now available via auto update or from the website. All right, guys, I will have links for both the firmware and the new version of Axe Edit 3 in the description. So have a great weekend. I'll be talking with you again next week.